कोटि सम प्रभा निर्विघ्नम कुर सर्वकारेशु सर्वदा गायिये गणपति जगन्नाथ
or we'll stand as we join together in singing the arati om jai ganapati deva om jai ganapati deva prabhu jai ganapati deva vigana vinashana swami vigana vinashana swami sukha sampati deva om jai ganapati deva गणपति देवा सुंदला दुंदला मस्तक पर चंदा प्रभु मस्तक पर चंदा कार जसे द करावो कार जसे द करावो सब बंदा ओम जय गणपति देवा गणपति जी के आरती जो कोई नर गावे प्रभु जो कोई नर गावे बंधुष्ट सखा विद्या सर्व मम देवेवा ओम शांति 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 हरियो बोलो श्री गणेश चंद्र भगवान की जय उमापति महादेव की जय सियापति रामचंद्र की जय जगत जननी श्री दुर्गा माता की जय बोलो सनातन धर्म की जय दिवोती जी में काय मिते क्यों सीज 
ಗಣೇಶಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸರಸ್ವತ್ಯ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಚಂಗಚೈವಾನರುತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯ ಮುದೀರೇ ದಿವೋಟೀಸ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ವಿ ಆಲ್ ಗಾರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಟು ನೈಟ್ ಟು ವರ್ಷಿಪ್ ದಿ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಐ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ ವಿ ಸೈಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಕಥಾ ವಿ ಲಾಸ್ ಕೀಚ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ to try to pick it a beautiful form of lord ganesh in your minds as we chant these verses which are dedicated to his worship om masumuka steka danta shta kapilo gaj karna ka lambo darasht bikato bigana nasho binayaka dumrake tor gana dhyaksho bal chandro gajanana dwad shaitani namani ಯಾಪತಿ ತ್ರಿನ್ನಯಾದಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾರಂಭೆ ವಿವಾಹಿ ಚೇಶೆ ನಿರ್ಗಮಿ ತಂಗ್ರಾಮಿ ಸಂಗತಿ ಚಿಗನತ ಜಾತಿ ಶುಕ್ಲ ವರರಂ ದೇವ ಶಶಿವರ್ಣ ಚತುರ್ಭುಜ ಪ್ರಸನ್ನ ವದನ ಧ್ಯಾಯ ಸರ್ವಿಘ್ನೋಪಶಾಂದೇ ಅಭೀಪ್ಸಿತಾರ್ಥಸೇಧ್ಯಾಕಲ್ಯಾನಮೂರತಿ ಪರಶು ಕಮಲಹಸ್ತ ಶೋಭಿತ ಮೋದಕ ಅರುಣ್ ಕುಸುಮಲ ವ್ಯಾಲಯೋಪವೀತ ಮಮ ಹೃಣೈ ನಿವಾಸ ಶ್ರೀಗಣೇಶಂ ನಮಿ ವಕ್ರತುಂದ ಮಹಾಕಾಯ ಕೋತಿಸುರೆಯ ಮಮ ಪ್ರಭಾ ಅವಿಗಣ ಗುರು ಮಿ ದೇವ ಸರ್ವಕಾರೀಷು ಸರ್ವದಾಘನೇಶ್ವರ ವರದಾಯ ಸುರಪ್ರಿಯ ಲಂಬೋದರಾಯ ಸಕಲಾಯ ಜಗದ್ವಿತ ನಾಗನಾಯ ಶ್ರುತಿಯ ವಿಭೂಷಿತಾಯ ಗೌರೀಸುತ ಗಣನಾಥ ನಮೋ ನಮಸ್ತಿ ಭಕ್ತಾರ್ತಿ ನಾಶನ ಪರಯಾಯ ಗಣೇಶ್ವರ ಸರ್ವೇಶ್ವರ ಶುಭದಾಯ ಸುರೇಶ್ವರ ವೇದ್ಯಾದರಾಯ ವಿಕತಾಯ ಚ ವಾಮನಾಯ ಭಕ್ತ ಪ್ರಸನ್ನ ವರದಾಯ ನಮೋ ನಮಸ್ತಿ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಯ ವಿಷ್ಣು ನಮ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ರುದ್ರೂಪಾಯ ಕರಿಪಾಯ ನಮ ವಿಶ್ವಸ್ವರೂಪಾಯ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚಾರಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಿಯಾ ದೇವಾಯ ನಮಸ್ತೂಭ್ಯಂ ವಿಯಕ ಲಂಬೋದರ ನಮತೂಭ್ಯ ಸತತ ಮೋದಕ ಪ್ರಿಯ ನಿರ್ವಿಘನ ಕುರು ಮಿ ದೇವ ಸರ್ವಕಾರೀಷು ಸರ್ವದ ಆವಾಹನ ನ ಜಾನಿ ನ ಜಾನಿ ತವಾಚಣ ಪೂಜಮಚೈವಾನ ಜಾನಿ ಕ್ಷಮಸೇತಿ ಗಣೇಶ್ವರ ಬಲೋಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶಂದ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಕೀ ಜಯ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ನೈಟ್ ವುಡ್ ರಿಕಾಲ್ ವಿಸ್ ತಪ್ ಟು ಎ ಲೋರ್ಡ್ ಗಣೇಶ್ ವಾಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಅಂಡ್ ಸನ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರಿನೌನ್ಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಇಟ್ ಟು ದಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ that whatever karma whatever actions are performed in places of worship those actions should be performed selflessly six eight five five driving six eight five five only you could do that he explained that when karma is performed in places of worship selflessly it leads the individual to victory and in the end moksha before we commence tonight's katha 
let us join together in the chanting of the Ganesh Totra. Yato Nanda Shakti Rananda Shadiva Yato Nirgunada Pramiya Gunasti Yato Bhati Sarva Tridavida Binam Sadatam Ganesham Namamo Bajama Yata Shwabira Sijagata Sarva Vito Satatam Sano Vishwago Vishwago Tatindra Dayo Daitya Sanagama Nusya Sadatam Ganesham Namamo Bajama Yato Vandagibano Bavura Bhujalanaja Yata Sagara Chandra Mavyo Mavayu Yata Stavara Janga Mavriksha Sangha Sadatam Ganesham Namamo Bajama Yato Dhanava King Narayaksha Sanagra Yata Sharana Varana Swapadashta Yata Paksha Kita Yato Vira Gashta Sadatam Ganesham Namamo Bajama Yato Bodhira Jnana Nasho Momoksha Yata Sampado Bhakta Sanato Shakasyu Yato Vigana Nasho Yata Karya Siddhi Sadatam Ganesham Namamo Bajama Yata Yatra Putra Sampadyo Vanjitarto Yato Bhakti Vidya Tathani Karupa Yata Shoka Moha Yata Kama Iva Sadatam Ganesham Namamo Bajama Yato Nanda Shakti Sashesho Bhabova Dara Dharani Nikarupo Chashakta Yata Nikada Swarga Loka Hinana Sadatam Ganesham Namamo Bajama Yato Vedacho Vikanata Manobi Sadani Tini Titi Tayam Magrananti Parabrahma Rupam Chedananda Rupam Sadatam Ganesham Namamo Bajama Yato Nanda Shakti Rananda Shajiva Yato Nirgunada Pramiyad Gunasti Yato Bhati Sarva Tridavira Binnam Sadatam Ganesham Namamo Bajama Sadatam Ganesham Namamo Bajama Sadatam Ganesham Namamo Bajama Bolo Shri Ganesham the Bhagavan Ki Jai Lord Ganesh, in explaining the glories of the Gita to Raja Varenya, says to him, Shrota Samartani Karamani Palamane Chana Samachari Shasta Sayogi Rajendra Akrayadyao Samashritaha. O King, whatever the Vedas have said and whatever the law books have said concerning karma there are three law books in Sanatana Dharma only three one is called the Dharma Sindhu one is called the Nirnai Sindhu and one is called the Manusmriti the Manusmriti is the one that is more controversial and certain aspects of the Manusmriti is not applicable to the age that we live in so you don't know what to skip out or what not to skip out. If you don't know what to skip out, you're going to say the wrong thing. So whatever the Vedas have said, whatever the law books have said, concerning karma, not having the desire for karma, and yet engage in karma, he says that yogi is most intelligent. That is what is called a karma sannyas. Bhagavad Gita says the same thing in chapter 6. Anashritya karma palam karya karma karuti yaha sasanyasi cha yogi cha 
nanirvighanaya chakriya that performing karma without the desire to get anything in return is what is called sannyas what is called sannyas yoga not by renouncing material things that doesn't make you a sannyas a lot of people believe that when you give up this and you give up that that is sannyas they're not sannyas sannyas means that you perform your duty without seeking anything in return yoga prapte mahabaho hetor karameva me matam Sede yoga sya samasedo heto shamadamo mato. What I say to you, O King, believe what I say to you. Renunciation is not for everybody, karma is for everybody. Everybody must perform their duty. And the performance of duty, the performance of karma, the performance of karma is the greatest achievement for an individual. One must have You must have peace within you. And you must have the ability to accomplish the action that you set about to perform. You can't start it and leave it hang up. You must finish it out. In the same way as Lord Krishna was explaining to Arjun. Aduroksho manora yogam karama karana mochati yoga rudasya tasyaiva shamakarana yamochati It is said, O Arjun, that karma yoga, I have explained that in detail to you. Karma yoga means selfless action selfless action is what karma yoga is the absence of desire leads the individual to the realm of the divine taking that vow o king of controlling the senses yet you engage in the performance of karma such a person is his own enemy if I'm arrested tomorrow morning I'm talking about real jail I'm not talking about Trinidad jail we still have access to your phone and your laptop and all them things I'm about real jail it means that I will have no access to cigarette fair enough so could I say I stop smoking? No. I stop because I'm forced to stop. But my desire for the cigarette is still there. And that is what Ganesh is saying. Taking the vow of controlling the senses, but yet you engage in karma for material gain, you are your own enemy. Having no desire and performing karma, you are the greatest of the yogis. As Lord Krishna have said, Yatahi nendi yarateshu nakarama swanu sajati sarava sankalpa sanyasi yoga do dasta do chati. To be successful in your quest to accomplish yoga, you must have no attachment to the sense objects, and you must have no attachment. To the action which you perform that when you perform the action you walk away from it so the individual devotee is his own friend and his own enemy going through the journey of life and accomplishing knowledge acquiring knowledge one is released from bondage because knowledge is supposed to free you but being ignorant o king 
one falls into this pit that is called birth and death and no one is responsible except the individual Lord Krishna was explaining to Arjun that the individual is his own friend and the individual is his own enemy. He has the ability to spiritually uplift himself and he has the ability to degrade himself. When there is honor, when there is dishonor, when there is happiness, when there is distress, regardless of an individual, whether he's a devotee of God or he's an atheist, whether he's a friend or an enemy, whether he has patience or not, he looks at gold, he looks at dirt. Jetayatmana prashantasya paramatma samahita sheto shansukado keshu tatamana pamanayo. It is the responsibility of the individual, the individual to keep himself under control. It is one of the most difficult, difficult things to do. To remain in control. In the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna had explained to Arjun, the problem in this world is not good. And the problem in this world is not bad. It's not evil. The most powerful weapon you could have in this world is the ability to resist the temptation to do evil. To be able to resist that temptation. He says, when that individual is not affected by the pay of opposite, honor, dishonor, happiness, desire, distress, devotee, atheist, when he is not affected by these things, so jetatmana be jnani, jnanindriya jayayava, Abhyase chatatama yogam yada yogta tamohisaha. Control the intellect. Conquer the senses. That intelligent individual, O Rajabharinya, who has conquered the soul, regularly engages himself in the performance of yoga, in the performance of action until he becomes a yogi it's not something you're going to try one day and you're going to get through with it people have tried for years 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 i have discussed that with swamis and they have said that people who, when they went to the ashram and they were in course to become a swami there were people who were there 15 and 20 years before them and they just couldn't make it something always just pulled them back down but you never give up the key to life is never give up you keep fighting down to the end. Jnana vijjana treptatma kota sto vijite indriya yokta et yojjate yogi samalota shmakankshanaha That intelligent person who has conquered the senses, who has controlled the senses, such an individual is a realized yogi. The Gita talks about two things, Gyan and Vigyan. When you go to chapter 9, in the first verse, Idam tu te gohya tamam pravakshama anisuyave Gyanam avigyana sahitam yajakyatva moksha se shubhat And a lot of people have gotten caught up thinking that Gyan and Vigyan is one step just above one or one step just below one. Gyan and Vigyan means two totally different things. Gyan means when you have knowledge of Nirgun Brahm, invisible God, that is Gyan. And Vigyan is when you have knowledge of visible God, Sagona Brahm. So two totally different things. Lord Ganesh says, Tata Shranto Vyakuleva Chudato Vyagratitrakai Kalite Sheta Yoshnoma Banala Gyan Vasukule In a place where there is excessive heat 
a place that is too quiet. A place that when you reach, you just start to feel restless. In a place where there is hunger. In a place where there is corruption. In a cold place. Where there is excessive fire. Where there is high wind. And excessive water. Sadhavavati jiranago Stana sagnao jalantike Kopakole yashamashane Nadyam avetao chamaramare In a place where there is too much noise. In a place where people cannot carry on a civil conversation. It must end up in confusion. Near to fire, near to water, near a well. Very close to a cremation ground near the ocean, near a furnace, an abandoned building. Chaiti swalpa me deshi pishacha di samabriti nabhya sed yoga vidya magam yoga dhyana parayana A place where animal life is sacrificed. Abattoir. A place where there are too much insects. A place that is famous or known for evil. In such places, one should not study anything with God and religion. Keep far from them places. Discard those places, O Raja Varenya. Smriti me pasyamo katvam balinaya mandata jwara jarata jayate sadyo Dosha jnana dvijogina By losing the knowledge you have of the law books every scripture in Sanatan Dharma is a law book in its own right Now every scripture that was written was all written in codes. People think that this Ramayana of Tulsidas is written in Hindi. I'm not sure. The language of the Ramayana is not Hindi. It's a language called Avadi. The people in India who speak Avadi in a minority right now. Very, very minority. And even though Tulsidas wrote that Ram Charitramanas, and he wrote it for the ordinary man, what is called the ordinary man, they still couldn't understand it because of the language. And it took about 200 years for a man to appear on the scene named Pandit Jwala Prasad. And Jwala Prasad took the Ramayana or the Ram Charitramanas of Tulsidas and he broke it down in Hindi. So below all the Chaupai, the Hindi explanation that is given there, those were done by Pandit Jwala Prasad. And there were certain aspects of the Ramayana that Tulsidas, either he deliberately left it out, or he saw no need to further explain certain things. Pandit Jwala Prasad put in what is called the Chepak. The Chepak further explains what Tulsidas meant. Now, for Dwala Prasad to accomplish that feat, he must have had a direct link with Tulsidas. For Tulsidas to accomplish the feat which he did, he had to have a direct link with Valmiki. And when you read what is called the Mahatam of the Ramayana, there is a whole group of Chaupais. And those were not written by Jwala Prasad. They were not written by Tulsidas. It was written by a man named Puranadas. He wrote the Jivan Charit and he wrote the Mahatam of the Ramayana. And he was convinced in his mind there is a verse at the end of the Ramayana. Let me explain that to you first. Ya Pritavi Varanai Divijay San Prarita Chinnamaya Sanjata Pritavi Tale Ravikole Maya manushya vabhyaya 
निष्ठक्रमत राक्षसा पुनरगा ब्रह्म म जम स्थिर किरतिम पापहरम विदाय जगता जानकी शंभवे वेन ही रेड दि एंटायर रामायण हि वॉज कॉन्विंस्ड दट दि रामायण वॉज मिस इन समथिंग दि वर्ड सीता दि रामायण वॉज मिस इन सीता समथिंग अबाउट दट होल रामायण Sita never played a part in the Ramayana. It was upon Valmiki himself who decided that yes, what was written there is true, and he wrote what is called the Anand Ramayana. The Anand Ramayana is dedicated to the worship of Sita, the entire Ramayana. So it's not easy as people think. So Ganesh himself is saying the same thing. When you lose the knowledge of the law books that you have, when you know what is right, according to the Ramayana, it says, Treta me bhaye valamiki muni Te kali yoga bhaye tulasi yadas puni शत करोद रामायण भाषी इन मति सार सुसोक्षम भाकी इन त्रेता युग देर वॉज अ मान बाय द नेम ऑफ वाल्मीकि हु कंपाइल द वाल्मीकि रामायण इन अ हंड्रेड थाउजेंड सांस्कृत वर्सेज अन तुलसीदास who was born as tulsidas in the kali yuga age and tulsidas extracted the nectar from the valmiki ramayana and he wrote what is called the ram charitra manas pratham ya kanda hai bal rasila janam vivah ke ram ki leela द्वितीय अयोध्या में कान प्रकाशा पेतु वचन रघो पति बन बासा एंड द फर्स्ट वॉल्यूम ही रोड वॉज कॉल बाल ही स्पोक अबाउट द चाइल्डहुड एंड द लीलाज ऑफ राम इन द सेकंड वॉल्यूम द्वितीय अयोध्या कांड प्रकाशा दैट चैप्टर दैट इज कॉल्ड द अयोध्या कांड इज द इटर्नल लाइट टू गॉड रियलाइजेशन दैट इज वाई ही डिस्क्राइब इट एज ज्ञान प्रकाशा द लाइट ऑफ विजडम द लाइट ऑफ लिबरेशन एंड इट इज इन दैट चैप्टर दैट राम रिनाउंस द किंगडम एंड ही वेंट इन द फॉरेस्ट टू ऑनर द वर्ड्स ऑफ राजा दशरथ सन को स्वामी तुलसीदास Puranda sorry further says Puniyaranaya Keshkinda bhakyo Tah sugriva sharana maharakyo Sundar sundar kand suhavana Yodah kand That is the Ramayana. In Aranya Khan and in Kishkinda Khan, Hanuman has caused Ram and Sugriv to meet. Taha Sugriv is Sharana Maharakyo, and Sugriv surrendered to Ram. And then, Sundara Sundara Kanda Suhavan, the most beautiful chapter written by Tulsidas. is called sundar kan and for a reason sundar kan depicts only one thing in the ramayana the word ram is not the road the word ram does not appear in sundar kan that's strange right the name hanuman appears sundar kan is dedicated only to hanuman from the moment he stood on the sea shore until he returned from lanka that is what sundar kan is about So Purandas wrote it correct. Sundara Sundara Kanda Suhavan, and then 
ये लास्टिंग तुलसीदास रोड युद्ध कांड महामारी हो रावण इन युद्ध कांड वो भी कॉल लंका कांड ही डिस्ट्रॉयड रावण दैट इज दोल तुलसीदास रामायण बट द गणेश गीता इज सेन एंड वी विल लिंक द टू टगेदर नाउ स्मृति में पश्चमो कम तम when you lose the teaching of the law books so the ramayan becomes the law book when it says karate kamagaya chaita chetalai navadena katha ka raya sukhadai in the month of kartik in the month of mag and in the month of chaitra that is when ramayana should be read in ayagya for 9 days and there's only one mantra to chant in that whole puja om namo narayan that is mantra om namo narayana aya om namo naraya mantra huti tina ahuti homa kariti three times you offer again to the fire chanting just that mantra alone that is the format that is the law of the ramayana so when you lose the teachings of the law book we end up with what we end up with now that's what we end up with such individuals muk you know what muk means muk ho hi vaachal what muk means to become dumb some people become ignorant some people through this ignorance they attack the very scriptures because tulsidas wrote a line that is the most controversial line ever written on a hindu scripture when he wrote deshakal mai samay bichara this ramayan could be adapted to suit any time any country any place and that is what we did with it we butchered it he said you will lose the teaching of the law books there will be no dharma sindhu there will be no nirnay sindhu there will be no manusmriti and those who are true devotees of god dosha gyan avad vijoginaha people will attack devotees of god eta dosho pare tyajya yoga vyasan shalina anadehi na chaitesham smriti lopadaya dhruvam i say to you o king do not disregard the scriptures do not disregard the teachings of the scriptures everybody not going to like the same thing everybody is not a devotee of hanuman and everybody is not a devotee of saraswati everybody is not a devotee of ganesh and this is why it is very clear when he says do not give up the law books let the scriptures be your law lord krishna said in the bhagavad gita chapter 16 verse 24 tasma shastram pramanam mate कार्य कार्य व्यवस्थित ज्ञात्वास्त्र विदानोक कर्म कर्म तुम हसी लेट दि स्क्रिप्टर्स बी योर गाइड लेट दि स्क्रिप्टर्स बी योर अथॉरिटी इन डिटर्मिनिंग व्हाट शुड बी डन एंड व्हाट शुड नॉट बी डन ओ अर्जुन हैविंग नोन दी ऑर्डिनेंस ऑफ द स्क्रिप्टर्स यू डिसाइड व्हाट यू वांट टू डू वेदर यू वांट टू डू इट राइट और यू वांट टू डू इट रॉन्ग people say when you say they do it wrong you criticize in no that is not criticize in that is not criticize in there is a format if you go to the patra the patra tell you there is a format on the day of the chaturthi which is what tuesday now the chaturthi this year fall two days monday and tuesday it fall monday but it extended into tuesday so those who start in monday correct those who start tuesday they also correct but yet the ganesh puran says on the day of the full moon everybody knows that the sun the moon sorry rises 6 hours after the sunset so whatever day full moon fall 6 hours after sunset is when the ganesh should be complete you check your calendar see when is full moon tomorrow is samajin murti right he says practice do not disregard the scriptures those who disregard the scriptures they will become lazy they would lose the teachings of the sacred texts and do not engage with people like that keep far from them o king they are going to corrupt you 
नाति बुंजन सदा योगी ना बुंजन नाति नंद्रिता नाति जागृत सिद्धमेति बोपयोगम सदब्यसन to be a true devotee of god eat very little eat food that is not seasoned eat food that have no onion in it eat food that have no garlic in it people say if you eat food without onion and garlic we tell you something if you know how to cook you could never tell the difference you could never tell the difference me ask you a question you could cook You're going to make a pot of chana and aloo. Tell me what you're going to do. Try me. You put oil in the pot. Right? Then you put curry. Then you put onion. You put garlic. You put pepper. So far, so good. You throw in the aloo first. Which is a strange thing. The aloo is cooked the fastest, but they throw that first. Then you throw your chana and you cook it up. When you sit down to eat, what do you ask for? You don't ask for onion. You don't ask for garlic. You don't ask for nothing else. You ask for chana and aloo. The end product is what you want. The end product of food is to prevent your stomach from being damaged. So whether you eat with pepper or not pepper, that is okay. Abstain from those things. Do not sleep too much. Do not wake whole night. Then you will attain the siddhas. In chapter six of the Gita, verse sixteen, Lord Krishna said the same thing to Arjun. नाट्यनष्टस्तु योगस्ति नचैकंतामनश्नता नचाति स्वपनशीलस्य जाग्रतो नैव च अर्जुनः दिस डिसिप्लिन इज नॉट फॉर द इंडिविजुअल हु ओवर ईट्स दिस इज नॉट फॉर द पर्सन हु अब्स्टेन्स फ्रॉम फूड दिस इज नॉट फॉर वन हु स्लीप्स टू मच एंड दिस इज नॉट फॉर अ पर्सन हु वेक ऑल द टाइम The only two people in the family could wake twenty-four seven and be normal. Only two, me and my daughter, twenty-four seven we could wake and function. Not again. Not again. Could I do it at one time? So, Ganesh says, "Ya kalpa jata ye kaman niyata har jagara niyamya." Kaganam budya virame shane shane. Discard, O King, all the desires that you have when you perform action. Partake of simple food. The Ganesh Gita says that. Niyatahara jagara, simple food. In Sanatan Dharma, simple food means the food must not have one, two, three, four, five different things. to make food simple one is seasoning one is mushroom one is carrot one is garlic and one is onion keep away from them thing when a person is awake oking niyamya khaganam budya your waking hours should not be in vain no waste time waking use your senses to control you and when you go to sleep oking biramate shane shane you must sleep like if you're dead nothing must bother you lord krishna said to arjun yukta hara viharasya yukta chetasya karmaso yukta swapanavodasya yogo bhavati dukah yoga will be accomplished arjun if you first understand how to regulate food you know some people because of medical issues they have to have fixed hours to eat or are they in trouble we ain't talking about them We're talking about normal healthy people Re- regulate food she says i can't regulate food you know? If I really hungry, I get all over there. I go in the fridge. Wait, I wait to get out and eat it. You know, cold, just as it is, and go back and sleep right away, normal. Right? That not healthy to do, but I can still do it. He says, regulate your recreation hours. Regulate the performance of karma. 
You cannot perform karma 24-7. Nobody could do that. Regulate sleeping hours. Regulate wake hours. That has that cliche ya de ya yatrayato nagachati detayatma vasham kurayat chetama chanchala madritaha. When you are asleep, your mind wanders all over the world. You should have the ability. And this is why our scriptures have said to us when we go when we are going to sleep, we should say our prayers. That's the last thing you're supposed to do before you sleep. Say your prayers. That is to prevent the mind from wandering. The mind, O King, Chitam Chanchala Mahadetaha, is very unstable. As Lord Krishna was explaining to Arjun, Asan Shayam Mahabaho Manodorani Graham Chalam Abhyasin to Kaunteya Beiragi Nachagrehiyate. That the mind is restless. But it could be controlled with discipline, little by little. It's not going to happen in one splash. That you think you're going to wake up one morning and be in total control of your mind. That's not going to happen in this lifetime. Anybody who believes they could go in the sea in a boat and jump off and learn to swim, either they have nothing in their head or they're real stupid. That's not going to happen. You're going to drown. It's trial and error. Everything in life is trial and error. Where the first mistake a child make? You have any idea where the first mistake a child make? Try to walk. That's the first mistake he make. Because it's trial and error. He's going to fall and he's going to damage himself. Whether you want it to happen or not, it's going to happen. Everything in life is a trial and error. So Lord Krishna had explained this to Arjun. Yes, I agree. Asanshayam Mahabaho, O powerful warrior. Asanshayam, without a doubt. Donigraham Chalam, yes, the mind is unstable. But Abhyas me, you could control it. Make the effort. Evam Kuruvan Sada Yogi Paramanira Vrati Yamrechati Vishwas Minjana Matmanam Bashampas Matmanikshati. Those who practice this discipline time and time again every day you keep at it little by little the highest form of peace will come to you then you realize that every life that exists in this world you see it in one form that form everything that is what is called the universal form when you go to chapter by the window when you go to chapter 11 of the Gita there is a verse that Arjun chanted in chapter 11. Aneka bahu daravakta netram pashami tvam saravato vananta rupam nantam na madhyam na punastavadim pashami vishweshwara vishwarupam Everything in this world becomes the vishwaru, one form. And when everything becomes one form, you see yourself in everything and you see everything in yourself. As Lord Krishna had explained, Yanjana nevam sadatmanam yogini yatamanasa shantim niravana paramam matsan stadi nagachati. Focus your mind upon me, O Arjun. When you focus upon me, I am the one to give you everlasting peace. I am the one who is the supreme bliss, and I am the one who abides in the heart of each and every one. Lord Ganesh says, Yogena yo nama peti tamupe yamadanara mojami chana munachami tamaham mam nasata chaji. Through the practice of yoga, one will accomplish the greatest honor. The greatest honor in the world is to accept in your mind that you have come from the Supreme. And in the end, you must go back to the Supreme. That is the greatest honor. Those who do not discard me, I do not discard them. Whilst they are in this world, O King, I will liberate them even whilst they are alive. There is a great Swami in the 50s and 60s, fellow they call Yogananda. 
Yogananda was an English scholar, the English language scholar. And one day he went to his guru, Yukeshwar. And he says, what is my mission in life? And the guru told him, you're in the wrong country. You have no mission in India. You need to get out of India. And he boarded a flight and went to Los Angeles and set up one of the biggest ashrams, still existing today. And all these great people who went to this ashram wanted to see if he was a magician, to see if he could do some kind of magic. He's, and he said to them one day, he said, I will do a magic for you that will never be seen, that was never seen before my time, and it will never exist after my time. And so said, so done. When he died, that was the magic. His body refused to, to decompose. The man from the mortuary got stuck in traffic in Los Angeles. So he said when he went to where the dead body was, he put on his mask and he had all these chemicals and things. And he realized this man is not showing no signs of death. They never preserved the body. And that body sailed from Los Angeles to India without being preserved and it never decayed. That was the miracle. So Ganesh is saying, I am the one who creates these things. Sukhe Sukhe Tare Dweshe Chade Tosha Samatrishi Atma Samye Nabhutani Swaraga Mamam Chaveti Yaha In life, when you look at people, you must look at people equally. Do not discriminate against people. It is not people's fault. Let me explain something to you. We use a very loose term in this country, vagrant. There are a lot of people out there who are vagrants who didn't want to be vagrants. Situation made them into that. Not everybody out there is a junkie. He says, look upon all with an equal eye. Don't look at the physical body. Look at the atma which exists within them. Whether they are experiencing joy, whether they are experiencing sorrow, whether there is enmity, whether there is hunger, peace, thirst, recognize me as what? Jeevana Mukta Saye Gendra Kevalam Mayi Sangata Brahma Dena Chadevanam Savandhyasya Jagatraye Jeevana Mukta, a person who accomplishes liberation whilst alive. When you associate with devotees of God, that is what's going to happen. If you remember, when Tulsidas was writing the Ramayana, he met a jombi. What we call a jombi. And the jombi tell him, I could do you a great favor. Tulsidas says, you are a devil. Devil can do nothing for me. He says, no, I can help you. He says, you go where there is satsang. Reach early. And just as the satsang is about to start, somebody going to walk in. And watch him. Watch him good. When you go to the second satsang, the same person going to be there. The last person to walk in going to be he. And as the satsang finish, he is going to leave first. That is Hanuman. That is Hanuman. And you convince Hanuman to show you what you really want. You know what, you know what Tulsidas wanted to see? You wanted to see Ram face to face. And there's a verse written in the G1 Charit. Chitra kuta ke ghata pei bai saaduna ke bheel Tulsidas chandana gisai tilaka karei ragubheel When he saw Ram, Hanuman went and asked him, did you see Ram? And that is what Tulsidas write. That is the first thing he wrote. Chitra kuta ke ghata pei Sitting on a boulder a slab of stone in that place which is called Chitrakut, Bhai Sadhun Ke Bheel, amongst an assembly of sadhus, Tulsi Das Chandan Agisai, Tulsi Das was preparing Chandan, Tilaka Kadei Ragubheel, which he applied to the forehead of Ram. That's the first thing he write. 
So before he wrote the Ramayana, he saw Ram. Then he wrote the Ramayana. When you look upon yourself as a devotee of God, you must see devotion to God in everybody else. Lord Krishna said in chapter 7, Sattaya Shradaya Yuktatasya Radami Ghati Labate Cha Tata Kaman Mayeva Vihitanitan Worshipping the Devutas, O Arjun, you will get material desires. But whatever desire you have that is fulfilled, Bihitan Hitan, know for sure it came from me. Even though you didn't worship me, it must come from me. Raja Parinya says, Dvevido Pihi Yoga Yam Sambhavyogi Matam Mama Yatanta Karanam Adoshtam Chanchalam Duragraham Vibo. Tell me how many different ways or methods exist to accomplish this yoga. Because I see this as being very difficult. The mind is stubborn. The mind is wicked. You could abuse the mind. You still cannot control it. Lord Krishna told Arjun the same thing. Arjun says, I am willing to try what you explain to me. But the mind is difficult to control. And Lord Krishna responded, Chanchalam mimana Krishna Pramati balaya vadridam Tasyaham nigraham manye it is not easy to control the mind because of the stubborn nature that exists. But it could be done if you try little by little. Tridi Ganesh says, Yoni graham madura grasya manasa sam prakalapaye gati yantra samadasman muktam sansmriti chakrakat. O king, do not try to abuse the mind. The mind won't listen to you. The mind has to be controlled. Find something to focus on. If it's for one minute, just focus on that for one minute. And then you increase the time as you go along. And then you will be released. Sansriti Chakrakat. Then you become released from the bondage of this world. Vishayekra Kacheireta Sansreshta Chakrakandridam Janashtetum Nashatnoti Karamakilaisu Sansbritam. The senses are built on a very strong foundation. So it's difficult to break them. But karma is the one thing that holds everything together. So if you perform your karma, but you renounce the fruit of karma, then the pillars on which the senses stand are going to crumble. Little by little, they will crumble. Guru Prasada Satasanga Upayata Jajayami Where there is excessive distress, renunciation, discard desires, one of the things, Lord Ganesh says, one of the things that you have to do is to please the Guru. Please the Guru. Enjoy Satsang. One must have this method and then you will become victorious. Now the question is, why should I please my Guru? What does the Guru have that you don't have? And Tulsi Das wrote that in the Ramayana. Banada vapratama ma isura charana moha janita sena saya sabharana Banada vapratama ma isura charana Moha Janita Sana Saya Sabharana Because the Guru is the one who has the ability to destroy the doubt that exists in your mind which is born out 
of ignorance. The guru could do that. That is why Tulsidas says, Banda o Pratama Mahi Suracharana. I bow to the feet of the Guru. Moha Janita San Sai Sabaharana. Whatever doubt and ignorance that exists within me, let him destroy that. Having destroyed that doubt and ignorance, then Tulsidas on a Tuesday started to write the Ramayana. Ganesh says, Abhyasa Dwavashi Kuravan Mano Yogam Yasedyate Varenya Durlava Logi Ninasya Manaso Jayat O King, to accomplish yoga, to control the mind, you must have my grace. You must have my blessings. And if you do not have my blessings, you could try from now until the world come to an end, you will never get through. With my grace, with my blessings, I will assist you to control the mind. It is very difficult in this age, O King, to become a yogi. A sanshayatmana yogo, dosha prapya iti me matehi, vashayata mana yatata, Shakyovaktum, Shakyovaktum namo payat. Without controlling the mind, you will never be successful. And if you live your whole life without any success, where are you going from here when you're dead? It could only be done it could only be done it could only be achieved by constant practice Raja Varenya says Yoga Brashtasya Ko Loka Gati Kimma Palam Bhavi Vibho Saravagya Mechanadi Sanshayam Buddhi Chakra Bred When yoga is destroyed where does that individual go from here? What is his gain in this world? Palam Bravit. What is his reward, O oh Great One? The mind is like a spinning wheel, like a chakra. If you put your finger in it, it cut it off. This is the doubt that I have. What is going to happen to me if I try to do this and don't get through? And Lord Ganesh says, Debya Deha Daro Yoga. Brashtaswara Boga Mutatamam Bhakta Yogi Kale Janama Labe Chadyo Matam Kuli When the yoga of the individual is destroyed and he leaves this world, he gets a divine body, O King. And he journeys to the celestial abode even though he had not accomplished fully yoga. Because of all the good that he has done. Labe chuddi satam kule. I am the one who sends him back upon this earth. And I send him back in a specific home. I've always tell people that. You choose the children you wanted? You brave enough to say yes? You say yes. You have a clue. You never choose the children you want, my friend. The children choose you. Is the other way around. They choose the home they want to be born in. Because they know what their shortcomings was in the past. This is what the Gita says. Both Gita says the same thing. They knew of their shortcomings. And if I send them to this home, whatever shortcomings they had then will automatically be severed. And their journey to reach me will begin from that point. That is what the Gita says. He returns to this home earth in the home of a yogi Lord Krishna said in chapter 6 verse 41 Prapya punya kritama lokan jetva shashwati sama shuchina masri matama gege yoga brashto bijayati even if one is practicing this yoga and for some reason he falls short I am the one who will send him back in a home where the knowledge of the past will be rekindled immediately and then he begins that journey to find me. 
So you didn't make, you have no choice in the children you have. They made that choice. Punara yogi bhavata yeshi sanskara atma purava karma jat nahi punya kritama kashtin narakama pratiya padyati. The karma that he has left comes back to him. And in a very short time, he becomes a yogi. Some people are destined to become yogis from birth. The fella, he's not in that picture. A fella named Balgopal. He was destined to be a Swami. He was born a Swami. From my reading on his life, his parents were so poor that when he was born, they couldn't give him breast milk. So in the middle of the night, the father took him up and carried him. They lived in Bindraban. And carry him to the Badri Ashram and drop him on the doorstep and leave him there. First day he born. Father the Pandite. Father still alive. Still practicing Pandita. And he left this child on the doorstep. In the morning, when the fellow opened up the mandir to sweep out, and then you see this child in a box. He take up the child and he bring him in the mandir. He said, Look, God come. And they teach that child and discipline that child that when they do Bhagwat. We do Bhagwat in Trinidad three times a day for seven days. They do Bhagwat in India one time a day for 21 days. So they to cut a tree and make a log, like a stool. And they paint this child like Lord Krishna. And he stand up there with the basura in his hand. And not even shaking, like a statue. For 21 days he would remain there. And he mastered that discipline. Until that is the name they give him when he became a Swami, Bal Gopal. Krishna in the form of a child. That is his name, Bal Gopal. He says, I am the one who send them in places to accomplish what they have left in the past. Punara Yogi Bhavat Yeshe, what they have fallen short by, what they have left behind. Through this discipline, Sanskarat Purava Karmajat, the karmas of the past is quickly awakened in them and then they become a yogi. Atava yogi nameva kule bhavati yadi yatam etu di duralabdarama loke janama yadi yadi shayam. And when this child is born in this family of great yogis, to attain such a birth in this world is very difficult in this age to accomplish. One of the last examples we had of this was a Swami by the name of Mrikandu. Mrikandu was married for years and he had no children. And together with his wife, they both prayed to Lord Shiva. And in the life of Mrikandu, they say that Lord Shiva appeared to him one night and tell him, I'm going to give you two children. Pick one. You say, what is the choice I have? I'm going to give you a child who's going to live a hundred years. But he will be no damn good. Or I'm going to give you a child who's going to live 16 years. Perfect. He went for the 16-year-old. And the child, when the child finished the 15th birthday, the child saw the resentment from the parents. They pushed him away. They started to push him away. Until one day he confronted them. And they explained to him that this is your last year in this life. He says, if I came to you all as a gift of Lord Shiva, Lord Shiva not going to take my life. And from that day until his 16th birthday, 24-7, he meditated upon Lord Shiva. Meditating upon Lord Shiva, Lord Shiva appeared to him and says, Listen, this is it. You're not going, you're staying here. He became the author of what is called the Markandei Puran. Get a copy of the Markandei Puran and see how powerful the Markandei Puran is. What is called the Durga Saptashati, the 700 verses to Durga, it is written in the Markandei Puran. Markandei became one of the Saptarishis. Through the feet, through the blessings. Tram tam buddhisana yogam, 
लबते पौरवदे कम यतते चातो भूय संसिद कुरुनंदना and when that child comes back into this world the child brings the knowledge that is required in a past life that knowledge dawns upon the child and then that child from very young yatato cha tato bhuya begins to strive now san siddha kurunandana to become one with the supreme what we call god realization it do happen by mistake ज्ञान निष्ठा तपो निष्ठा कर्म निष्ठा नरादिप श्रेष्ठो योगी यश्रेष्ठ तमो भक्त मयि तेषु योकिंग ट्रू नॉलेज वन विल अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट कर्म इज ट्रू कर्म one will understand what is meditation true meditation one will understand what is devotion and when you understand what is devotion such an individual bhakti man mayite shuya such an individual achieves the highest state such individuals attain the highest that they could ever reach and those people who attain the highest they don't live long they don't live long at all and the best example given is shankaracharya he is considered to be the guru of sanatan dharma and one day he was asked the very question what is the greatest fear in the mind of people and he wrote a verse punarapi jananam punarapi maranam punarapi janani jatariya shainam ehi sansari bahu dushtari kripaya pahi pahi murari bhaj govindam bhaj govindam govindam bhaj muramate भगवद गीता किम चिद दीता गंगा जल लनिक सपीता सकृत पीय मोरा ऋच मरचा पीयते यते नय मे नन चरचा भज गोविंदम भज गोविंदम गोविंदम भज मोर मते भज गोविंदम भज गोविंदम गोविंद the greatest fear that exists in the mind of the individual is to go through the constant cycle of birth and death and nobody according to shankaracharya nobody makes the effort to get out of birth and death and he wrote a prescription to get out of birth and death bhagavad gita kim chidadita the bhagavad gita they use the word bhagavad gita but what shankaracharya would have meant he knew that this was the kali yuga age he knew the five devatas would be important so either you go with the vishnu gita which is the bhagavad gita the shiv gita the surya gita the ganesh gita or the devi gita all the gita says the same thing in different chapters the bhagavad gita says it in 18 chapters Ganesh Gita says it in 11 chapters the Devi Gita says it in 18 chapters also and the Shiv Gita in 13 chapters they all say the same thing that Bhagavad Gita kim chid dita ganga jala lava kanika habita that drink the water of the ganga one drop you don't want a bottle of ganga water you want one drop and that one drop of ganga jal together with the name of lord krishna sagradapi yena murari chamaracha you will set your life forever kriyate tena yamina nacharacha yamina means the god of death you would have free yourself from the cycle of birth and death 
योगिनाशा मदगतेनात्म शरावन भजते यो मां समयोक्तो तमो मता वर्शिप मी वर्शिप मी सिंसियरली डो नॉट वर्शिप मी टू प्लीज आ ऑडियंस वर्शिप मी टू प्लीज योर सोल स्टन बिफोर माई मूर्ति प्रेत मी वर्शिप मी वर्शिप मी विथ शरावन भजते फर्म फीत फर्म डिवोशन Yes, I may yoke that a more mama, and I will make you the greatest yogi. This is my promise to you. If you look at the picture in the corner, there is a verse, a Sanskrit verse: "Sarva dharma paritta jamma me kam sharanam braja." Surrender the action to me. Surrender your devotion to me, and I am the one. This is my promise to you. I will make you a devotee of mine. Tatra tan bodhi sanna yogam, labate purva dehi kam, yatate cha tato boya, sanse dau kuru nanda na. Sanna yogam, to connect with me. That connection always exists. From the time the life comes into this world, we already have an automatic link with God. But for some strange reason, the wires become corroded. But the connection is still there. It's just the wires corroded. That yata to cha na tato bhuya. When I strengthen that connection that you have with me, only then. All the good you have done in a previous life, what is called sanchita karma, only then that will be awakened in you. And when that sanchita karma is awakened in you, then you begin sanchita to strive, kurunandana for God realization. Jnana nishta tapo nishta karma nishta naradipa shreshto yogi sa shreshta tamo. भक्तमान टू रीच दी हाइस्ट पॉइंट टू रीच दी हाइस्ट लेवल आई सेट अफ यू डेज अ गो वाई डू यू वॉन्ट टू लिव अ हंड्रेड इयर्स लिव अ शॉर्ट लाइफ एंड डू वन थिंग इन लाइफ दैट पीपल विल टॉक अबाउट इट फॉर हंड्रेड ऑफ इयर्स तुलसीदास डिड दैट रोट वन लिल बुक वेल दाइन नॉट ट्रू यू रोट प्लेंटी बुक्स बट यू रोट दी राम चरित मानस एंड वी स्टिल टॉक अबाउट तुलसीदास फाइव हंड्रेड इयर्स नाउ So, you will attain the highest state that the individual could really re- could realize bhakti mania, true bhakti, true devotion. Devote yourself to me. Make self sacrifices unto me. In chapter nine of the Gita, there is a verse: "Man mana bhava mad bhakto madhyaji maam namaskuru, maam avaisha si yukve na matmana mat parayanam." Fix your mind upon me. Meditate upon me. be devoted to me make self sacrifices unto me and this is my promise to you arjun in the end you will come to me this is what ganesh is saying to raja varenya when you attain the highest state you will only attain that because of the devotion that you have towards me when you stand before me and you pour your soul out to me i am the one who will strengthen that meditation i will strengthen your devotion I will strengthen your karma, and I will give you that knowledge, that gyan, that will make you see me, reveal myself to you. There's a bhajan that was sung by Anup Jalota. Moha ke vasha me, Arjun aya, roop birat se. हरली माया ऐसा ही मुझे रूप दिखा दे नैय तरा दे पाद लगा दे मोह के जस में अर्जुन आया वेन अर्जुन अप्रोच लॉर्ड कृष्ण ऑन दी बैटल फील्ड ही वॉज फिल विद डाउट एंड इग्नोर एंड ई सेट टू लॉर्ड कृष्ण 
Rupa birata se harali maya. If you show me that universal form, all my doubt and ignorance will be destroyed. And so said, so done. Aisa hi mujhe rupa dikhari. I also want to see that form. And if I see that form, Nayatarade Parautari, that sight or that vision of that form will take me over the cycle of birth and death. That vision will take me over. Ganesh says, You get that vision through my devotion. You get that knowledge, that gyan through me. I strengthen the knowledge that you have that will give you the capability through the devotion that you have to see that form and also to achieve it. Yogi nam apisaravesham madagate nantaratmana sharavan bhajate yomam same yokto tamo mataha When you worship me, you must be happy. Make every effort. <coughs> God was a smart being. He made Sanatan Dharma so simple. Patram Pushpam Palam Toyam. Nothing more simple than that. A leaf, a flower, a fruit, a drop of water. That's all. That is all you need. When you stand before the Murti, <coughs> that is all you offer. Water. You want to put a chandan? You put a chandan. You want to put a flowers? You put a flowers. You want to offer a parasad? You offer the parasad. You want to do an arati? You do it. And when you do these things, that is the type of devotion. Shadavan bhajate yo maam. That shadha, that faith that you have, I will strengthen it. You will become one of the great orators of Sanatan Dharma. Same yukta tamo mamaha. And in the end, you become so firm that you become one of the great yogis of Sanatan Dharma. And all this comes through the grace and the blessings of that Supreme Lord, whom we worship by the name of Shri Ganesh. Balo Shri Ganesh and the Bhagavan ki jai. Devotees, while the Havan is taking place, I'm going to sing a bhajan for you, a cappella, without music. It is a bhajan that is loved by three people in this house. Well, two. My father first sang it. My son have a weakness for it. And then I sing it. Bhajo de man Ram charan sukh dai Bhajo de man Ram charan sukh dai Jain charan ke nikasi sur sadi shankar jatha samai Jain charan ke nikasi sur sadi shankar jatha samai Jatha shankari naam daro hai Tribhuvan taran aai bhajore man Ram charan sukh daai bhajore man Ram charan sukh daai Jain charanan ke charan paduka bharat rahe lav lai Jain charanan ke charan paduka bharat rahe lav lai Soi ke vat katar amidoi lino Tab hari nao charai bhajore man Ram Charan Sukhdai Glorify the name of Ram The feet of Ram Washing the feet of Ram Jinn Charan Ke Nikasi Surasari The Ganga came upon the earth Jinn Charan Ke Charan Paduka Bharata Dahi Lavalai Having washed the feet of Ram Bharat embraced The sandals of Ram 
soke wata katarami doi lino tabahadi na wacharai ke wat wash the feet of Ram before he took Ram over the Ganga. Dhan dhaka banna prabhu pavanna ke no rishi anna trasamithai Dhan dhaka banna prabhu pavanna ke no rishi anna trasamithai So ta kurti na loka ke swami Kapata mriga sangadhai Bajore manna Ramacharan Sukhadai Dandakabana Prabhupada Kino The very feet of Ram is what purified the Dandaka forest Rishi Anatra Samitai The very feet remove the suffering from the Rishis and the Munis Sota Kurutin Loka Kiswami Such a Lord who is the master of the universe Kapatamriga Sangadai was running after a day that didn't exist. Kapiso Greva Bandu Veya Vyakul Tashi the Chatra Charai Kapiso Greva Bandu Veya Vyakul Tashi the Chatra Charai Ripuko Anuja Vibishana Beto Parasatalang kahapai bajore man Ramacharan sukhadai Ripuko anujavibishana beto Parasatalang kahapai Ram embraced the brother of his enemy and made him a king Kapitsukriva Banduve Vyakul Tashi the Chatra Charai. Because of all the fear that Sugriva had because of Bali, Ram destroyed it. Shiva Sandaka di Yadi Brahamadi Shesha Sahasa Mukagai. Shiva Sandaka di Yadi Brahamadi Shesha Sahasa Mukagai. Tulsi das maruta suta mahima Hari apade muka gai Bajore man Ramacharan suka dai Lord Shiva Brahma Sheshanad with a thousand mouth cannot completely glorify Ram Tulsi Das Maruta Sutta Mahima Tulsi Das writes Hari Apane Mukagai Such is the nature of Sri Ram That those who have a thousand mouths Cannot glorify Ram And Ram in turn glorifies Hanuman That is the nature Of the Lord we call Sri Ram That is the nature of Sri Krishna That is the nature of Ganesh Nothing is different, just the name We just change the names I could sing the same thing that you use in all our name names Bajode man Krishna charan sukhadai Change all the name Bajode man Ganapati ki charan sukhadai You could change all the name The name change The message never changes God will never change He remains the same all we have to do is stand by that murti and pray. That is not for me to do. I am not going to stand up there and pray for you. You go and pray for yourself. The only thing I could do for you is burn you when you're dead. And that is for free. Stand up. You pray to God. God understands the mystery of birth and death. God understands the difficulties that individuals are going on. Yesterday we spoke about a child who committed suicide in UE because they didn't get good grades. Only today I found out it's not one. It's about five or six of them who did it. And two were very successful in their exam. None hit depressed yet. None hit depressed. Life out there very difficult. Look at the headline in today's papers. Yesterday's papers. It's terrible what children are going through, what parents are going through. It's a difficult, difficult time we're living in. 
And if people are not prepared to make the sacrifice to worship God, to surrender to God, to ask God to help, I've always said, if you have a problem that long standing, what do you do? Sit down. Sit down and pray. Sit down and pray. Pray to God. Talk to God. God will understand. He's Samadarshi. He looks upon all with an equal eye. He knows the very thought that exists in the mind of each and every one. And if we surrender to that Supreme Lord, certainly He's going to come to our assistance. Bolo Shri Ganesh and Bhagavan Ki Jai. I will ask the group to give us a bhajan and then we'll do the art.
बोलो श्री गणेश चंद्र भगवान की जय ऑल विल स्टैंड एज वी जॉइन टुगेदर इन सिंगिंग द आरती ओम जय गणपति देवा ओम जय गणपति देवा प्रभु जय गणपति देवा विगणविनाशन स्वामी विगणविनाशन स्वामी सुख संपति देवा ओम जय गणपति देवा पार्वती पुत्र कहावो संग कर सुत स्वामी प्रभु संग कर सुत स्वामी गजानंद गणनायक गजानंद गणनायक भगनयन गामी ओम जय गणपति यशवारी प्रभु मोषक यशवारी कर जोरी विनती करे कर जोरी विनती करे आनंद युषवारी ओम जय गणपति प्रथम शुभ मंगल दाता प्रभु शुभ मंगल दाता से दे हो ये सब कार से दे हो ये सब कार दरिद्र अत जाता ओम जय गणपति चंद्र भगवान की जय उमापति महादेव की जय 
श्री आपति राम चंद्र की जय जगत जननी श्री दुर्गा माता की जय बोलो सनातन धर्म की जय गोती जो मिकाई नीति क्यों सीख